Rained earlier today, folks. Also had some lightning, but right now 68 degrees at kickoff time. Nebraska won the toss, deferred. Oklahoma will receive. A series that dates back to 1912. These two teams played in the game of the century. Brendan Frankie will kick it off. Billy Bowman is the deep man for OU, Nebraska, Oklahoma. And here we go from Lincoln. This one into the back of the end zone. I expect some fireworks here early. So first down and 10 at the 25. And they'll run it. Eric Gray on first down. Let's take. I think Jeff Levy is going to want to run the football. It's going to be Eric Gray early. Gray again running over the left side. He'll pick up a first down and more as he gets to the 40. Is because the defense has not played well. They've got to improve today. Gabriel standing in the pocket now bounces around and finally tracked down and taken down. Nicely done. Second down and 14. Opening series for OU. They'll stay on the ground. It's Gray once again. He stacked up. First man to a Marquise Buford. Gabriel roaring. Gabriel looks to the sideline. Incomplete. And away from his old 24 yard line. Trey Palmer, the deep man for Nebraska, over to the sideline. Signals for the fair catch. Sounds against Georgia Southern last week. First and 10 of the 23. And Thompson will throw it on first down, and it's a strike. Out to the far side, Alante Brown. And watch out for these wide receivers on the outside. All first down, he'll drop it into the flats. Nice catch. Trey Palmer turns it up with a first down. And he gets out of bounds at the 50. First down and 10 at midfield. Opening series for the Cornhuskers. And they'll run it with plenty of room. Anthony Grant. Week specifically. Out to the far side. Another catch. Palmer with room and he'll lean forward to get close to that first down mark. Great start. Casey Thompson versus Oklahoma last year. 20 for 34, 388, five touchdowns. Freedom here in this week and we'll see what game plan he has. Thompson winds up, goes deep, has got a man! Touchdown! Big Red! Trey Palmer ran a great route and Casey Thompson put the biscuit in the basket, 32 yards. Has a touchdown now, and the Cornhuskers with a 7-0 lead. Nice of him to share. <laughs> First it did. At the 25 for Oklahoma. Sooners stay on the ground. This time it's Marcus Major. He was going to make a huge impact in their communication all day. Second down and eight at the 27. They'll fire out wide, and it's caught for a first down. Marvin Mims. Back one, get down the sideline. First down at the 36. And this is major, major bottle up. Weeks will be corrected because he's on the field. Second down and 11. Misdirection here. And Mims caught, dragged backwards. Marvin Mims doesn't like it. Major in the backfield with Gabriel. Here's Gabriel. Steps up in the pocket, looking for the first down, has running room and more. Gabriel down the sideline, burst of speed at the 20, cuts it back. Dylan Gabriel, touchdown, OU, 61 yards. Scamper into the end zone. Schmidt will send it away. Trey Palmer, who scored a touchdown. Is back deep. This one angled toward the corner. Team to be an identity that this fan base can be proud of. First down, and they'll run it. Grant trying to get around the right side. With Dud in the middle of that defense, number 28. First down at the 37. Thompson guns it. Venable's defense at Oklahoma. Second down and short at the 45-yard line. Here's the run. Grant strung out. Great job by the Oklahoma defense. Nebraska. Here's Thompson, underneath, incomplete. Casey Thompson threw it perfect. Brian Buscini, the punter. Marvin Mims, the deep man for OU. Mims with a fair catch at the 12. In college football, it is the wild, wild west. I love that. Great graphic. First down at the 13-yard line. Gabriel trying to get outside and he'll slide down. Hit at OU. 
Second and six. Gabriel underneath and throwing a little bit high. Third and six at the 17. Last third down play. Gabriel will for 61 yards. Here's Gabriel. Sets up the screen. Throwing high and complete. Steps out of bounds around the 34. 52-yard punt, but the Nebraska defense playing well to start. We'll see if it will continue. Allen remains in the game, and they'll give it to him straight ahead. Ajay Allen, the freshman. Allen again, looking for the first down. Lowers his shoulder. Allen, can he get there? Last two games, scoring a touchdown in each. First down at the 43. Thompson backs up. Over to the sideline, and it's caught. Eight. Thompson. And they'll go down at the 41. to show four to play in the first quarter. Here come the numbers for Oklahoma. They get back there, and it's a sack. To punt it away. Mims, a deep man. As Machini sends it high, Mims from the 20, hits the sideline. Mims tried to squeeze through the hole, and he'll get up to the 40-yard line. Being an offense, and their new quarterback, Gus, J.J. McCarthy. First down at the 37, and that play. Loss of three, second and 13. Gabriel guns it with the left hand. First down and 10 at the 47. Gabriel near side Mims with another first down side is allowing for some of these holes on the RPO first down at the 42 and this is major And they'll give it to Stoops on the sweep and he'll go nowhere Third down and six of the 38 Gabriel underneath Drake Stoops First down and ten in the end zone Touchdown, Oklahoma. Jaleel Farouk. It was a bit of a pump. Watch this game. But Gabriel's going to pump this, and Farouk just gives a bit of a double move right there. It's a slant, and then he's going down the sideline. The corner bites Tommy Hill, and he's wide open right there at the pylon. But again, that ball is just thrown perfectly right in his face mask. You know uh, four straight punts to start the game, but here they've come out, and after that first punt, they have put together a few really nice series. Jenny, first and ten at the 25. Grant in the backfield in the pistol formation. They'll give it to him. They'll run left. And is lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. There is a flag on the play. The next nine games. Second down and 11 at the 24. Thompson. And incomplete. Third down and 11 at the 24. Casey Thompson in trouble and sacked again. Missed a few games last year, but certainly a guy with a lot of talent. Thompson has now been sacked for the third time. Bushini sends it away. Mims wants a shot at it. He'll get it. Mims to the sideline. Mims at the 40. Mims lowers his shoulder, crashes forward inside the 25. Third. First down and 10 at the 23-yard line. Mims in motion. Over the middle. And incomplete. This time they'll run it. Gabriel hands it off. And it's Gray. Gabriel drops it off in the flats. And that's Willis. Dives forward, and he's down inside the 10. A great 1994 national championship team for Tom Osborne. So here come the Sooners trying to punch it in. And they'll find Mims. Did he get in there? Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Out of the eye. Second man through. Touchdown. Marcus Major. So as you watch Oklahoma this season, although the season is early, do you see a difference between the Britain? The production behind the line of scrimmage, and that's showing up today. First down at the 25, and OU just reading that play with no problem. Palmer, a loss of six. Second down at 16 of the 19. Thompson steps into his throw underneath. That one thrown low and incomplete. Casey Thompson 
This time we'll hand it off and not much there. Certainly has great success from Clemson who's come in and really put his stamp on this defense early. Three national championships as an assistant in 2000 with Coach Stoops at OU and then two the century. Here's Oklahoma over the middle incomplete. Tech great offenses at UCF and then back to back years at Ole Miss. Here's Stoops cuts it up the football really well. Third down and five. Gabriel connects. Is it a first down? Looks like. Stoops. Gabriel winds up the deep ball. He's got a man. Incomplete. What a flag on the play. Mims, the intended receiver. So that moves the ball to the Nebraska 38-yard line. First down and 10. Major. And he'll squeeze through the second down and eight at the 36. Gabriel, jump pass. Caught. That's his tight end. Willis lined up. First down to the 24. Near side. And. With the reception. Forward to trying to get back to it. Schmidt sends it away into the end zone for a touchback. It's the premier program in college football in the middle of the night. And they'll hand it off for first down. Not a lot of running room. I'm in 13 at the 22. Near side and another. A program that they can be proud of, and that's the charge that Trev Alberts has in front of him. Third down and 13 on the run. And Thompson completes it. Talked about it a little bit. This is just a totally different unit than what we've seen over the last few years. Gain of 15 on the last play. He comes in here and he feels like this is his locker room right away. Second down and nine. Thompson underneath. It's complete. Third Nebraska false start. Third down and eight. Thompson off his back foot. And incomplete. A lot of wrestling going on let's see there's a lot on both sides wasn't there pass interference defense number four 15 yard penalty and automatic first down unbelievable first down and 10 at the 46 and the handoff to allen permeated throughout this program and in particular on this defensive side and they'll run it allen with some running room and they'll dive forward on and 10 at the 27. 8.34 remaining in the second quarter. Thompson drops it off in the flats. And he's got his receiver. Borkacher, excuse me. Second down and six. And they stay on the ground, Allen. Empty backfield for Casey Thompson. Thompson steps up in the pocket. Tries to break contain. And he'll get close to the first down team. Hornhuskers going for it. They run it. I don't know. It'll be to get Grant down short of that line to gain. And that was the first fourth down attempt of the season. For Nebraska. It's the ball. And in that RPO game, you better throw that ball quickly or else your lineman will be down there. First and 15 to the sideline. Caught. Farouk. This offense was, were they going to be able to retain some explosiveness without Lincoln Riley? And today they have. Over the middle. Incomplete. Also really bad. Second and ten. And they'll run it. Gray with room. First down and more. Covering people up. Tight end Willis coming in, getting the block. I mean, they're doing a great job up front. Gabriel guns it. Sideline incomplete. Second and ten at the 37. And the handoff straight ahead. Gray. Finally chopped down. What a tackle. It's cannot catch their breath at all. Caleb Tanner with the tackle there. And in the end zone. And incomplete. Gabriel pulls it out. Looks in the corner. And incomplete. Here's Gabriel dancing. And Gabriel sacked at the line of scrimmage. And he pushed it wide right. All right, thank you very much, Rob. First down and 10 at the 22. 
for Nebraska. And he'll hand it off. No room for Anthony Grant. He goes backwards trying to reverse his field. Does, but is still tracked down. I love the swarming defense. You watch these linebackers. They're all walking around. It's tough for the offensive line to know where they're at. Thompson in trouble. Got hit as he threw it. I mean, anywhere in the body when you're talking about the crown. And they said to note, by the way, roughing the passer with targeting. So even if they chose to take this off, which... I'm sure they are not. After further it would review, still be roughing the, the one on the field of targeting is confirmed with the crown on the helmet. Number 23 is disqualified. And Jay Allen cuts it back. And they find some space. It's hard for this offensive line to know where they're at. Far side. Ball caught. Palmer. Low snap, handle. Thompson in trouble, and Thompson sacked again, including four sacks. Like I said, folks, this Oklahoma defense looks different. One thing I do, and that ball muffed. Recovered. And it'll be OU football. Let's see what they got here on this series. First down at the 35. We'll run it over the right side. Major. 236 to play. Another run by OU. Three straight thousand yard years, and you would think that they would be able to run it still under Jeff Levy. It's for OU. 150 yards rushing, 152 yards passing. Watch out, Marvin Mims. Marvin Mims still going. 28 7, Oklahoma. And another run, great touchdown Sooners. Watch this, I mean, they got locked up here, they got locked up here, and then they're gonna pull across and the linebacker just gets stoned in the hole. I mean, boom, look at that, that is perfect execution up front. And Gray with a great move in the second level gets a year. I haven't seen a team like that. I haven't seen it, like, that's what I keep saying, you know. This is, and this I don't mean to be redundant. Uh, on both sides of the ball, Ballers. First down to the 25, and Rascal conservatively stays on the ground. Second and seven. Thompson over the middle, and he has his reception. He is standing. No free runners in that secondary coverage on top and underneath. Far side. Not a lot. Here's the run. Grant. Tried to get outside after Wade. It doesn't matter if there's a hole there. All of a sudden, there's another guy waiting, and there's another blitz and pressure, and Casey Tom 35-7 as we get started here in the second half. Be up here in the booth. Talk a little football with you, buddy. Here we go. First and 10 from the 25. Pressure again. Thompson steps up. Beautiful pass. Trey Palmer over the middle. And he's got a first down, and did that ball come out? Find a window, make a throw, but you, know, you can see the Oklahoma defense just being opportunistic and ripping this football out. Oh, Trey Palmer hits the ground. What a great play, and again, Brady, that's Jaron Cannon. They now first and 10 here for the 46. And there's Gray, steps away on the left side. Good move, about eight. Not easy, no. and he certainly played well today. One up the middle, and it looks like he'll move the chains. Transfer from Cal, they were really high on him, and they've been great on that left side. There's Gabriel, dumps up, great catch by Gray. Gabriel, little RPO, drop. Five of eight today on third down. Gabriel to his right, Farouk, first down. His decision making has been really good today. Now, Gray over the right side, powers ahead. And he'll get about three to go. And that's clearly been really an, an understated issue is Gray. Wow. Another run. How about the move? Brady steps away. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 21-yard scamper. And again, huge hole in the middle of that offensive line. Join us at some point. We'll continue this conversation about this great rivalry and these two programs moving forward here on Big Noon Saturday. Join this game. So Thompson. Gives it to Grant on the left side. Nice little run there. 
you get the sense that it's starting on this defensive side and the way that they play so aggressively up front production tackles there's Thompson behind his receiver and big hit on what has ever since that first series for the Cornhuskers been pretty lifeless on offense. Mims back to receive. He'll let it hit the turf and it'll be downed. Pete itself from a couple years ago. Gabriel back out there. There is Marcus Major. Nice run and again over that left. And again, Major. Jump cut. He'll pick up about three. Right out. They are. You got a wide receiver all the way up there. You got a wide receiver all the way down below the numbers, and then they run the ball. Right. Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss. And it's based on two things. It's based on the box count and then some of those defender reads. Nebraska defense, which has not played well so far this season. And here's Gabriel again, back to pass. All the time in the world. He'll have to run it, though. Good coverage down the field. All right, second and 13 from the 41. Gabriel, RPO, on the money. There's Weiss. Great cut. And he'll take it down to the 10-yard line. Before they get past three yards downfield. Look at all the space at the top of your screen right there. They fake the pitch that way. Then it's oh. a seam route from the 15. Here's Major. Cuts back. Good defense. First these strikes. Are they going to rally together? Ninth play of the drive. Gabriel to the end zone. Top touchdown Sooners. Theo Weiss wrestles it away. Take a look at just the window he's got to throw in right there before the safety gets there, but just enough in front of the cornerback for Weiss to make the catch. Oh, you up 49 7. Let's go. Get some of that credit. Well, Stutzman in that defense has been outstanding. This is Purdy. Actually, I'm sorry. That's number six. This is Purdy. Players. Nebraska, two of ten on third down today. Now three of eleven. Ball out. Wrestling for extra yardage. That's Isaiah Garcia Castaneda. And it looked like that ball was out to me. Yeah. Boy, this defense just attacking. So Nebraska punts it away. Mims. Back to receive. Takes it. Good move there. Take. Oh, my goodness. All right, new quarterback now for OU as well. And another good run. He's got three of the best. Bill Snyder, Bob Stoops, Dabo Sweeney. That's how Brent Venables cut his teeth in another big run here. My goodness. OU just absolutely getting after it. He's done a heck of a job getting his team ready today. That is Javante Barnes have, have left their their next coach in such a good spot. It, Instead of that, you know what he did? He went out recruited. Yeah. And you can see that it's a, it's a this is a really, really good team. I think Brady hit it right on. I just sat like they are right now. See these two safeties deep. They're running the football. Now they're going to run the ball because of the style of game. Great bro broken tackle there. Barnes showing some power. Six foot, 200 pounds forever. From the 25, ball on the ground. Nebraska's got it. All right, so Nebraska now with the ball. Purdy in the pocket all the time in the world to throw. Had a man deep, didn't hit him. That was Palmer. Now he's going to run around. And here's Purdy. Good move on the sideline. And how about a first down from Purdy? It feels like, you know, I mean, that's the way it's felt. So they've got good players. Good run here. High stepping. That's Purdy. Left side, Palmer, outside the numbers, and it's a first down for the effort every single day. I can't imagine a more difficult time, too, with all the transfer portal opportunities and everything. So the, the transfer portal and created windows. windows yeah. You know, in a situation like this, you could see a mass exodus. There's Irvin again. Nice. Their third down here. OU, mostly backups in, and Irvin will get the carry. Another good hole, another good run. You know, you got to be careful as a player which voices you're listening to in the locker room. They'll go for it on fourth and again smothering defense for use offense. So that first unit hasn't turned the ball over playing super clean. Bevel in at quarterback. QB draw. Nice run. 
first down sooner. It comes to mind when you start thinking about this. That, uh, you're right, it's not the players, but you know everybody's got families to take care of. Their future is completely unknown. Last chance of any type of injury, just like this player. Inside zone. Notice everybody's staying up for the most part. Bevel. Barnes. Well, maybe my entire career. Spoken total buy-in when we heard his name. He loves us. He appreciates us. He expects 150% from us. And it's for today. Eighth play of the drive. Bevel on the edge. Complete. Ocean. You've obviously been on Ohio State and some other big time programs. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but, but they look like they've got the big boys up front on both sides. Back on offense. Chubba Purdy in at quarterback. Right side. You know what they've endured the heartaches, the one losses, the one score losses. I mean, they show up and they show out. They'll find in, in the entire sport. They're probably being tested like. Unlike Never before. any other time in the history, that corridor of football in the Big 8, Big 12, Southwest Conference was strong. You're talking. And he told me, he said, his main goal is to build a program and find a coach that this fan base will be proud of. Deep down the field, OU again. Over, under, great coverage, picked off. Key Lawrence. Yeah, how about 200 yards passing? It's pretty ridiculous last week. The Braves never beaten. They have over 300 yards on the ground. And granted, this second half has been a lot of the this guys just giving the ball to their young bat. I love it. Strong. I immediately wrote it down, and I was like, I'm stealing that. And, and it is a – the championships are miserable to get to that point. <laughs> Uh, there's no other it's way. It's another great it. line. It is absolutely <laughs> miserable. It's hard work. It's pain. It's tears. You know what? I mean, how do you get the muscle to grow? I can you tear it apart. I yeah. can attest to that because loss penetration, the backfield. It's been a dominant performance, guys. They've had nine tackles for loss. Brady, they've had. Oh, free rusher again, and he steps away. Purdy does a great job, finds a receiver. And I, and I believe the, the Cam Newton-Auburn team had like a 28, 30, something like that defense. Other than that, you better play defense, and Oklahoma has managed a game. That's taking care of the ball. That's at times maybe not going tempo. They're slowing things down if you're struggling or one of your top players are out. Brasket crosses over now at the 40 yard line. First down, Purdy down the middle of the mm. field. Almost picked off. The niche of the Nebraska football in the day was player development. And like we talked about in the show, it's um, That's one thing that they, they were for a long time, not just in 1969. There's Irvin again. Johnson coaching staff, and then the guy that we all have great respect for, Kyle Whittingham, in that category. They're developers. They're and that's what people around this program hope that they can become here moving forward. Pitch and catch on the outside. Good broken tackle. Trainer. That's what you're looking for in the next head coach though. Is, is, is what's that niche? Purdy keeps it on the right side of the pylon and he's in. Touchdown Nebraska. And that's the sort of thing as a young player that you're looking for, right, Coach? Building some of that momentum. This will go into the end zone for a touchback here, but J.J. McCarthy has been outstanding. Four incompletions on the season. Their first real opponent. The teams they played are certainly overmatched. That's players in college football. Well, not only that, but they get Ronnie Bell back. Remember, he got hurt in the first game of last year. They have four of the five meetings under Lincoln Riley were one score games. So that's going to be a tough matchup for the Sooners of this game for me. Those two lines of scrimmage, offensive line, defensive line, totally dominant. So Brent Venables gets the win over Nebraska. This storied rivalry. Coming back here to Lincoln for the first time since 2009, and the Sooners took care of the Cornhuskers early. Great energy, terrific execution. They were physical. That is a really good football team, folks. And Jenny Taft is it with their head coach, Brent Venables.
Well, congratulations, Coach, on this win. It really was such a complete performance, balance all around. So I got to ask, what was the highlight for you today in watching this one? The highlight? Uh, probably the first half. You know, the way our guys came out in the first half, everything on both sides of the ball. That didn't the first drive was a little shaky, but our guys, how they responded. I love the attitude and the hunger in the locker room at halftime and the way we came out in the third quarter and really slammed the door uh, on it. You know, not being satisfied, not being relaxed. I think the hardest time to coach is when you're having success. And uh, it's a really proud of the maturity and the poise, um, the determination these guys showed all day. Some of, one of your sayings is, it ain't good enough. I saw you coaching with two minutes left. You were still grinding on your guys. What were you being said? How do you nitpick this performance? Well, again, you know, we've got a lot of young guys in there that we're going to have to count on. We've got to develop our team. And they need to go through it, you know, and some failure along the way is how you get better. And, um, but the standard doesn't change, you know. When they go in, they need to play to a standard. And so we're going to coach the same way. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, the Sooners certainly proved a point, and I tell you what, this team is very good. Fellas, last thought? Yeah, I kind of like what Coach just said there. The standard doesn't change. Kind of gave me a chill right now. When you think Oklahoma football, you think what you just saw there. That was a thorough, thorough beating. I saw the physicality. You know, different from what we've seen in past years with Oklahoma, bringing back that on both sides of the trenches. That's going to bode well, not only through Big 12 play, but... What could be there for them at the end of the season match up with some of the best in college football. Hey, fellas, I appreciate it. I appreciate Great you. conversation up here. Uh, folks, Gus is going to be great and ready to go next week. The final score here at Memorial Stadium, Oklahoma 49, Nebraska 14. More from Lincoln right after the break with Rob, Reggie, and Matt downstairs. If you want to keep up with